we're, 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 we're looking now at combat operations in the creeks now. How equipped in terms of training are your troops? Of, well, for us, um, my, we, of course, everybody may not have acquired the training to operate within the creeks before arriving into this theater. However, we have in theater training that is currently ongoing in Calabar Amphibious Training School to ensure that everybody in this theater of operation have an idea about how to operate within the creeks. But there are still concerns of uh, unrestrained activities of uh, sea pirates and maritime security. Yeah, good. If you look at our mandate, piracy, sea robbery, there are two different things. The piracy, act of piracy takes place offshore. Our mandate covers sea robbery. But we are worried of the fact that the, the plan to carry out piracy take place on the land. And after the act of piracy, the pirates move down to the land to enjoy the process of their illegality. So we are equally looking at when the piracy acts have taken place to pursue the criminals. But the, the essentially where act of piracy take place is not within our mandate. But because we are operating in the maritime domain, we are equally on top of issue, ensuring that, we, that their hideouts are being ready. There have been uh, cases of our militants building illegal refineries now. What have you done to check this? Thank you very much for that question. Illegal refineries have been on the ground almost at the same time with the insertion of oil exploration within this region. But we're beginning to see the, the illegality or the danger in the illegal refinery in the recent criminal activities of the militants. And in line with our mandate, we have decided to burn institute on, of all illegal refinery and its scenarios are sight. But we have seen it that it has not stopped the art of illegality or the art of illegal refining of stolen crude. Have you been able to track down the number of illegal refineries in the Niger Delta region? We are tracking down, like I was trying to get to where, where we are presently. We have realized that the use, we, are, you, we need something that can permanently stamp of the illegal refinery sites. That How is, strong is your intelligence network? Of course, within this network, we have joint intelligence function center where all the agencies assemble all their intelligent operatives and they are there in the field and we are getting information. What I was trying to arrive at is that we have what you call metallic operation currently going on using swamp boogies to crush all the metals and their scenarios used in refine, uh, illegally refined stolen products. And that is uh, helping us along, I mean, helping us because it is no longer easy for them to re-establish the illegal refinery site that have been destroyed. All these illegal refineries still comes with a high cost. And that brings us to the, politi the, 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 the political economic side of it now. Are you, are you looking at the political angle uh, that these militants that are perpetrating illegal refineries could have sponsors and there could be some political backing to this group? Because building an illegal refinery, uh, I'm not sure that um, there, there's an illegal refinery that would cost less than 20 million, even mil that, that, that wouldn't run into millions of naira. So that shows that this source of funding is also a source of challenge that the military, that the Operation Delta Save should look into. Of course, it's, it's, you, it's like you've been following out our operational activities because in the, the, light, the last operation we carried out uh, between uh, February 14th and April 14th was 
Operation White Valentine. And one of the action plan of, of Operation White Valentine was to identify the sponsors of illegal refinery. Who are the sponsors of these illegal refineries? The, the sponsors of illegal refineries are the same people that are within the society. Could you name and shame them? Of course, it is a You're chain. You are a military it's, man. No, it's a chain of, uh, it's, it's a cartel, and the sponsor themselves are not at the scene of the crime. They are at the end of the chain. So by the time you arrest those who are perpetuating the illegality, to name their sponsor is a very difficult thing we are trying to break through. That but, that, 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 is that an indictment on your intelligence network no, now? That I, your I intelligence have, network is I'm, not I'm sharp still, enough I'm, to get to I'm, the root of I'm still of getting it to it. If you look at my table, why you saw that it, we thought it, uh, it was scattered, it was because I, have a, I am dissecting some intelligent reports that have come. Very astonishing, very uh, revela uh, revealing of the fact that a lot of complicity is involved in People, the illegal it, refinery. You, 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 you are saddled with uh, a, a task to restore peace in a high-stake region. Properties work millions of naira, billions of naira has been destroyed. It's at stake. People are dying. You've been appointed since June 2016. Since November 2016. Since November 2016. Till now, that's running to over six, six months. months yeah. Now, and um, as a, a rare admiral, uh, how long should it take you to get to the bottom of to know the sponsors? Because if 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 you've not got into the root of this issue, uh, that means you are merely scratching the surface. I have gotten, like I did tell you, I have gotten to this, but the root of this. Then tell activities. us who are the main sponsors. But who are the political it, backers? It is not in my place to disclose the sponsor until I get clearance from the top. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Coming up on Question Time. Setting the record straight on Operation Delta Safe in the Niger Delta region. Find out from the JTF commander Operation Delta Safe, Rear Admiral Suleiman Akbochi. Join us again.